Arun Shrivats is our next speaker, and his title, SIRNA Therapeutics for Fibrodysplasia Ossificans Progressiva. <clears throat> our bodies exist in a perfect state of balance called homeostasis, and the bone tissue in our skeleton is a really great example of this. You don't see or feel it, but at any moment in time, three to five percent of our bone mass is being absorbed and reproduced simultaneously. Now this is a delicate balance. It can be disrupted by a rare condition called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP. FOP patients have a genetic mutation that causes the stem cells in their tissues, sorry, muscles, tendons, and ligaments to start producing bone. The end result is seen in this central figure here, which clearly is a far cry from what you see in a normal, healthy human skeleton. As you would imagine, FOP is severely debilitating. Most patients are in a wheelchair by their 20s and are dead by their 40s. At this time, there's no cure for FOP. There are no effective treatment options. Together with my team, I'm trying to change this. But where do you even start with a disease like this? Well, what we did was we began with the stem cells responsible for this bone formation. Now, the cells of our body are, in many ways, like tiny little computers. Now, all computers have keyboards or inputs. And for our cells, their keyboard is comprised of what are called cell receptors. Because of the FOP mutation, what happens with one of these receptors is that once it's activated, it gets stuck in this on or activated position. It's a lot like if you press the B button on your laptop, but instead of one B showing up on your computer screen, you just get this never-ending string of Bs, continuous, all the while stimulating bone formation from these cells. So how do we stop this from happening? Well, my approach is that we silence the crucial bone formation genes in these FOP patients. I accomplish this by delivering siRNAs, or short interfering ribonucleic acids, to the stem cells of these patients. Now the siRNAs, which are shown in green up here, are structurally very similar to DNA, but they're much smaller. The most important part about them, though, is that when delivered to cells, what they do is they silence active genes that have matching genetic sequences. So in the context of FOP, by silencing the right genes, it doesn't matter that this B button is getting stuck because we're silencing the key genes required for bone formation. Now, a big challenge with this approach is the efficient delivery of siRNAs to cells. Because they're very fragile, what I have to do is package them in polymer carriers before delivering them to the cells. It's a lot like wrapping up a package before sending it through the mail system. These polymers, what they do is they protect the siRNAs and help them get to their final destination. Now, in the way of results, what I've done so far is establish the ability to silence or prevent these bone formation processes in laboratory cell cultures. What I'm doing right now is testing them in mice that have FOP to see if it can make that translation. With some more optimization, fine tuning, and hard work, I believe that we can mature this technology to create siRNA therapeutics for FOP patients. Thank you for your time. <laughs>